Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a four-box break of 17-18 Panini Court Kings basketball. This is break number 20, a four-box 20, 420. One spot gets you two teams, whatever that means. Four, four box and 20. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up. There you go. And all teams are in. Let's roll the dice. Five and a one, six times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six times. We've got Dave Marin, Last Spot Mojo Star on top, and Booney in the number 30 spot. Five and a one. Five and a one, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six times. Hornets down to the Milwaukee Buckaroos. All right, so Dave Marin with the Hornets. Richard, you got the Magic. Matt White with the Thunder. Ryan, you got the Wizards. David with the Lakers. Ryan with the Celtics, Royal for Speed. Richard with the Heat. David Kiss with the Pelicans. Matt White with the Pacers. Mavs and Jazz. Nice for cause. Ryan with the Cavs. Tice with the Blazers. Joe P. Oh, there you go, Tice. You got your Trailblazers. Joe P. with the Clippers, the Clip Show. Ryan Redman with the Knicks. Tice with the Suns. Matt White with the Spurs. Ryan with the Warriors. David Kiss with the Grizz. Matt White with the Timberwolves. Ryan with the Sixers. Bruce with the Nets and the Rockets. Booney with the Raptors. Um... Dave Marin with the Hawks, with your other last spot mojo. Ryan with the Kings, David Kiss with the Pistons, Ryan Redman with the Nuggets, Joe P with the Bulls, and Booney with the Bucks. <laughs> Joe P doesn't like the Clippers. Come on, Joe P. Uh, you could get um, Clipper sensation Blake Griffin. Oh, wait. Oh, you could get Chris pa Oh, wait. Clippers are terrible. <laughs> Uh, no, you know what? Sindarius Thornwell as a rookie is actually pretty good. This is only $17.99. You get a nice Sindarius Thornwell autograph, I'll bet you can get 18 bucks out of it. You can get your spot money back. And Bulls, you have uh, Lori Markinen. That's actually really strong. He's a strong rookie. <laughs> Ryan's like, I actually got randomized good teams. Probably hit list time for you. No, I, I disagree, Richard. Orlando Magic, um, That's got, you, you have Jonathan Isaac there. And the Heat have Bam Adebayo. Two decent rookies. You get some decent autographs of them. You'll get your spot money back, too. You get some nice low-numbered stuff. You never know. You never know. That's the great thing about this rookie class, folks, is that you can you can make an argument for a decent argument for every team. You know what I mean? Bucks for Cavs or Raptors for the Cavs? Royal for Speed? Nuggets and Knicks are up for trade, says Ryan Redman. Here are the four boxes right here. So the next break, the next four box break will be from a fresh case. These are the last four boxes of that particular case that we popped open. Ryan will do Raptors for Cavs. Booney getting his Cavs. Is that cool with you, Booney? You want to confirm that? So it is confirmed. Nice. So Ryan, you now have the Dino DNAs. And Booney, you now have your Cavs. There you go. Great win for the great overtime win for the Cavs. They're trying to get themselves back on track. That's the drama in the NBA. What's LeBron going to do? Who's going to get traded? Do they like each other? Blah, 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 blah. Tice, you want, you want to move the Suns for Joe P.? I'm not sure if he's gonna do that, Joe P. I don't think you're. I don't. I don't think you're gonna. Well, who do you? Well, Joe P. Has actually, you know, it'd be a fair trade. Not that. Not that I should be interjecting in these things anyway. You know, you should. You should know your checklist, folks. That's what I'm saying. But, and really, everyone should be. You know, if you're not in this break, or if you're not part of the trading party, you know, it's best to kind of keep your opinions to yourselves. But, but uh. But yeah, hey, Josh Jackson, man. This guy still sells well, and he's starting to play better in like the last couple weeks. Josh Jackson's a high-round high draft pick. 
But I think that the Bulls and Suns would be kind of a fair trade. Lori Markinen for Josh Jackson, basically. That's my opinion. But that's up to Tice, though. Maybe Tice is like, hey, I like Josh Jackson. All right. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll close the trade window. So, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. <laughs> Joe P says he'd give you both, Tice. You should take him. You should take his word for that. You should have played a cool Joe P. Tice was gonna do Bulls Suns anyway. <laughs> He'll take both. You want to give him both, Joe? Give him the Clippers too, Joe. Good man, Joe P. Good man. Man of his word. All right. So Tice gets the Clippers and Bulls. For Joe P's sons. Joe P is a big is in Arizona, so he's a sons guy. There you go. Two for one deal. Oh, where did that go? There you go. Two for one deal. Right, hopefully the trade works out for everybody. Trade window closed. That's the emoji in the chat. All right. Good luck, everybody. All right, there you go. Wednesday the 7th, break number 20. There's everyone there. Good luck. Let's pop open all four boxes at once. There's box toppers in here. Full disclosure, the uh, I think everyone knew this before the break, that the autograph has already been pulled for the box topper. It's fine, though. Still, still nice ones in here. Devin Booker. I don't know if Devin Booker Inc. is in here. There may be some Devin Booker relics. If there is like a Devin Booker autograph, it's probably like it's probably really low numbered. to cut the uh, box toppers. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, you're getting Devin Booker ink tomorrow, Joe P? Where? Chris Dunn, DeAndre Jordan. So the Clippers actually might, are they gonna trade DeAndre Jordan? Maybe, I don't know. They re-signed um, Lou Williams, though. Nice Markel Fultz, level one. That goes to Ryan, Royal for Speed, on that. He wants he wants autographs of this guy is what he wants. Oh nice. Where is he signing? I feel like I feel like it's one of those like local team, like local furniture store or gas station or uh, not gas station, local furniture store or like uh, car dealership or something like that. That's where all the Lakers do it. There's level two Josh Jackson. That actually goes to Joe P. That's where all the Lakers go. They'll send out like actually Devin Booker's, that's a pretty good signing. For the Lakers, they'll usually send a, send out like I don't know, some se some second string guy. <laughs> There's Frank Jackson, portraits for the Pelicans. That is for David Kist. Oh, it's a health facility ne near the arena. That's pretty cool. 95 out of 175. Out of 200, 21 out of 200, fresh paint, Derek White. For the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs going to Matthew White. Matt White with the Derek White. Any relation? Maybe maybe they're brothers. You got your brother's autograph. 21 out of 200. And more Spurs. Kawhi Leonard. 
Another one for Matthew White. 229 out of 299. That was the Emmanuel Moutier Emerging Artists. Next up, got Joel Embiid and Brooke Lopez, Lakers edition. Brooke Lopez nailing threes. Shooting a lot more three-pointers. It's kind of funny to see, but it works. De'Aaron Fox. Fox in the box. Going to Ryan and the Kings. It's another level one rookie card. I'll set this here. We got nice Dennis Smith Jr. Level two rookie card for Dallas. Dennis Smith Jr. He can, he can hoop for sure. That goes to Cause. Nice player for the uh, Mavericks. There's Luke Kennard, managed to not get traded in that Blake Griffin deal. 13 out of 65. And for the Trailblazers, fresh paint autograph, going to Tice and his Trailblazers, Caleb Swanigan. Tice, what can you tell us about Caleb Swanigan? Is he getting minutes? I don't know if he is. Maybe? I don't know. What does he play? We got Dario Saric. Dario Saric is actually having a pretty decent season. Sixers for Ryan. He's the guy, because you know how they, they have Joel Embiid on a very regular rest cycle, you know? So, like, Joel Embiid won't play back to backs or something like that, you know? But Dario, when that happens, Dario Saric is, this is like daily fantasy kind of info. Dario Saric actually comes up with some, some decent. Decent points, too. 81 out of 299, Dario Saric relic for Ryan and the Sixers. Oh, okay. So Swanigan just got recalled from the G League. All right, next one. Cavs edition of Dwayne Wade, Serge Ibaka for the Raptors, KD. And PG. Nice. They faced each other yesterday. We got Tyler Lydon for the Denver Nuggets. Nuggets going to Ryan Redman. That's a level one. Emerging artist Aaron Gordon for the Magic. And for the Thunder, Terrence Ferguson. I think it must be like a level three. Level three rookie card. For the OKC, Matt White. We've got Jordan Bell for the Warriors. I feel like Bell had a stretch of like a week or so where he where he flashed some signs of uh, possibly being a great player for the future of the Warriors. Royal for speed with that one, 140 out of 175. And we've got, nice, CJ McCollum. Sketches and swatches, jersey and auto. That is nice. CJ McCollum's balling out. 31 out of 192 for Tice and his Trailblazers. Nice. And there's Frank. Frank Tilakina. Art Nouveau relic for the Knicks. Ryan Redmond with the Knickerbockers. And last box. Good luck. That is young. Joakim Noah. A wild cat has appeared. Carl Anthony Towns. Chandler Parsons for the Grizz. And bam. Bam Adebayo. Miami Heat and Richard with that one. Wonder what the big trades are going to be tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of trade talk tomorrow. Hopefully, there'll be some uh, some wild trade action. NBA trade deadline tomorrow, folks. There's Kevin Love. That injury has got the Cavs shook. Frank Jackson, level three rookie for the Pelicans. That'll go to David Kist. Nice. Frank Jackson again. Out of 175. Oh, is that it? 
Royal for speed. Wake up. Fresh paint autograph, level one rookie, Markel Fultz, Philadelphia 76ers. There you go. You got good teams and you hit this time. Congrats to Ryan. That's the way to end this. Remember how he had like some dude change his shot after the draft? Like, come on, man. <laughs> Why would you do that? Anyway, Mark L. Fultz, he should be fine. He'll be fine. He, he just got he just got his head twisted around. Buddy healed relic. I think that's still his Pelicans relic, right? Yeah. I like how they do this now. I like how Pianini does this. I think it's a nice touch. 240 at 299. It's like, yeah, we know, we know. I I like the extra info there. All right, box toppers. We've got the king, LeBron James, with that game-winning shot. Unclutch in regulation, clutch at the end of overtime. LeBron James with the Cavs. That'll go to Booney. LeBron James with the Cavs. Unclutch at the end of regulation, clutch. At the end of overtime, game-winning shot. And LeBron James. No, I'm kidding. Giannis Antetokounmpo. I want next year, I want this panoramics to be Giannis dunking over Tim Hardaway. You know? That goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. That'll also be for Booney. Booney with three of the four box toppers. And the last one is Steph Curry, Warriors. That's Royal Force Speed. And there you have it, folks. That is the break. No randomizers for the box toppers. Not, no other randomizers to do. Ending with the Markel Fultz is pretty strong. It's a Christmas miracle, says Royal Force Speed. Ryan's happy. You should be. That's a nice hit. That's a nice way to end it. The next four boxes are from a fresh case, so check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We're going to talk trade deadline trades tomorrow. I think that I think it'll be the deadline will be over by the time I get by the time I go on air. So we'll talk any trades that might have went down to basketball tomorrow. We'll break more basketball. We got status, court kings, uh, and absolute basketball in the store. So check it out. We'll see you next time folks. Bye-bye.